a swearing-in ceremony for Brazil's new health minister, Nelson Teich. But President Jair Bolsonaro used the occasion to defend his controversial handling of the coronavirus pandemic, not least his decision to fire his previous health minister, Luiz Enrique Mandetta, who refused to play down the risks of COVID-19. History will judge us, and I ask God that we are right. This struggle to start opening up for business is a risk that I will take. If it gets worse, it's on me. What I believe, and what lots of people are coming to realize, is that the country has to open up. Mandetta wanted to implement World Health Organization guidelines, but Bolsonaro opposes social distancing measures. Mandetta's sacking has worried Brazilians. It's a bad idea because the guy was doing a good job. He's a guy who reassured the people, asking them to stay at home. But he went against Bolsonaro's opinions, and so Bolsonaro fired the guy. But others agree with the president that the economy and jobs must come first. My company closed a month ago, but I'll reopen it next Monday. I have no option. I have 80 employees, so we'll go forward with respect and care. More than 2,000 Brazilians have died so far from the coronavirus, making Brazil the worst hit country in Latin America. In its worst affected state, Sao Paulo, the governor extended the lockdown for another three weeks and warned the healthcare system is struggling to cope. The intensive care units of public and private hospitals are receiving a larger number of patients each day, and we already have some public hospitals at the edge of their capacity. The president and his new health minister want an end to the lockdown, but Brazil's Supreme Court says that's a decision for state governors and city mayors. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.